Crime Gang, what's the deal? Well, I'm back, but I ain't coming back with no react. Well, I guess this is reaction. I don't know if y'all heard of this nigga named Mr. Organic. If y'all haven't, his shit named Mr. Organic. Organic is with a K. Me personally, I fucks with what he doing. But he was on his podcast arguing with some shorties about a whole bunch of a whole bunch of shit. Just everything under the sun. These women obviously think that just because they beautiful or pay that men should do certain things and all they should do in return is give them some ass and that's not how it works no it's not how it works like he said maybe if you if you fucking with a lame then yeah but no you got to bring something to the table at least that's how i feel so i felt like he was doing i felt like he was checking them joints putting everybody they place but he slipped a little bit by stunting over qualifying himself talking about he owned it Malibu and shit and um or a state in Malibu. So this nigga, what his name is? The dead beat dad. Went, dug up all this shit, everything he said, and tried to expose Mr. Beast. I'm gonna play a little bit of both for y'all, man. Listen. You gotta bring more your energy gotta be right. Your mind gotta be right. He was your really preaching though. Nothing after a while. You know what I'm saying? A nigga will fuck anything, man. <laughs> so like, you could be the baddest too. bitch in the world. That's yeah. fine. Nigga gonna have you, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch, a two on a three. A nigga will do that. Yeah. Happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z had Beyonce. He still fuck some other pussy. How can you beat that? <laughs> Cause I, he would just want some new pussy on his cock. So that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy. It's your mind. What you bringing to help me grow? That was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah, preach, brother. Yeah. Preach. But Absolutely. a bad bitch brings inspiration nah, that you not will to no, not, not to get. no real nigga that already yeah. had that if you got a what is she lane, talking about that need all that. i just want a bad bitch that nigga he's a square mm -hmm. he's a nobody yeah but a nigga that been inspiration his whole life and got every girl he wanted what is a bad bitch doing for me that's nothing we always had that what you bringing more than just being a bitch it's a, oh, it's a million bad bitches walking this earth that's the cheapest and most easiest thing to get for a nigga got some money is a bitch and some pussy Bam. You go to, like I said, you go to Brazil right now, it's gonna be a 10,000 bad bitch you've seen in your life. You get them bitches one dollar and a coffee, and that bitch gonna lick your feet, man. That ain't work. That's worthless to a real nigga, man. Right. You gotta be a fat, slow brain, regular ass nigga that finally got some money to be imposed, and I got, oh, I got a bad bitch. Like, come on, man. Like, that's a different type of breed of human that get they, they rocks off to that. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Y'all get your money now. Go get all them niggas. But a nigga like me, that shit is. Like, Facts. Get them all. You know we gotta, we, our energy's got to be connected. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta grow together. That's the most important thing. So you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that you want. But you have to. What a deed is. Oh yeah, here it goes. For a woman's education. They're not. When you're t when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to I plenty do. of rich men. I do. I've t I'm, I'm a rich I man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, two state? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> yeah, ask that boy for the paperwork. We gotta show the paperwork. So, this dad beat dad dude went ahead and looked up all of the paperwork and. And, and dug up everything this man was saying, basically all so of this little ass part right here. And they would the commercial right there because they knew it was about to get spicy. Talking about how much money he made on DoorDash. Look, I'm just shit talking. Listen, because this is shit I've been going watching YouTube anyway. I might as well record it. But look, she telling him pull up the date. This dad be dad dude pulled that thing up. What do you got? What do you got? D to these. Come on, man. You, 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 got, you, got, a little, you got a little residue underneath your nose, man, baby. So he's uh, certified. No. He's she certified. Said he, is, she, he said she has some residue underneath her nose. <laughs> he tried her. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like, she yeah. fucking with loser, fat old niggas got money. I get nah, it. Nah, negative. But when you're when, seriously, There's when no you way reach you a certain level, when around you, you reach a certain level, you don't care if that girl works as a bottle girl. You don't care if this it girl has matter. a job. We like didn't you say don't that. care. We gotta have somebody got some smarts already, though. Because you we can already, tell you ain't got no smarts. Like we need somebody with some level. brain. It ain't about just want to suck my dick all the time. The energy needs Damn. to be matched. We need, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's I, bigger than but just. But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work. It don't matter. All right, all right, all right. I ain't gonna keep. I ain't gonna keep playing playing that because they just gonna keep arguing the whole time. 
But I just now seen that this dude tried to expose him. He went and got the D or seen who owned the D and everything else. All right, y'all. So Mr. Organic is a, a popular YouTuber. And I'm probably going to make the title of this video about the, the same type shit. They said influencers be lying. They be renting all this shit, making these YouTube videos. Everybody thinking they doing something they ain't doing. And, and got all these kids out here chasing this dead ass dream. But uh, let's get into it. Car community. He uh, recently went on a podcast and bragged about purchasing a multi million dollar uh, estate in uh, Malibu, California. Rich man. I do. I t I'm a rich I man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, an two estate? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> Go ahead. So now, I looked at Los Angeles County property records and um this home was not sold it is not owned by mr organic it has remained with the same owner since 2006 and they use this as a rental property always be capping the property records are public record you can look it up you can look up the address but there's no reason for people to lie you see when youtubers get on the internet and lie you can't lie about real estate you can lie one question though do y'all think that was do y'all think this is some hay and shit should should either let him live or did he deserve to get exposed for talking crazy to shorty and he don't even got what he said he got lie about cars you can lie about clothes but you can't lie about real estate and so a lot of his content he says it's it's motivational he's telling people how to go from being broke to being quote unquote rich and um you know he wants people to work hard so they can be successful like him. Interesting. Influencers have been lying for a long time. If you don't recall, Bow Wow was put on blast after he was on a regular commercial flight, but he posted on Instagram that he was about to get on a private jet. Remember the Bow Wow challenge? And now we have influencers booking photo shoots inside of fake planes. This is all fake. It's just a prop to get you to believe in something that's not real. You see these shopping bags? These shopping bags are empty. People are getting on eBay to buy shopping bags just so they can take pictures of these empty shopping bags and put them on Instagram. It's all fake. Fake. Let me read this article. I'm going to read an excerpt from this article. It says, influencers are buying empty shopping bags to pretend they're rich. Clout chasing makes reselling the used disposable bags a surprisingly lucrative line of work. People are making a lot of money selling empty bags. And so there's a lady named Sarah from the Philippines who, who sells her empty bags. Shout out to my Philippines. And she found that the people who were buying her bags, they were posting them on their Instagram profiles to appear as if that they act to appear as if they actually, you know, bought those items. And I'm Alright, so look. Look, man. Y'all need to tell me what y'all think. Cause y'all think that shit is cool that um influencers are are basically purping. They because they getting some money. They definitely getting a check. Not all of them are, but a lot of these boys is getting a check. But the ones that's out here faking. The ones that's acting like they bought this and that and didn't get that, and they're actually just posting rental properties. To me, that shit ain't cool. Cause I mean, cause look, matter of fact, man, do whatever you gotta do to get your bread. I don't. To me, it really don't matter for real, for real. Cause I'm gonna switch that whole thing. Yeah, it don't really matter to me. Cause listen, if that's how I make my money, fuck it. Me personally, I wouldn't be sitting there keep capping. I wouldn't be doing it. Like, y'all gonna see me in this motherfucker too. I really buy something else. Then y'all gonna see me in my next motherfucker every day. Same way y'all see me here every day. Only other place y'all see me at is work. But if that's how you got on, because just say if YouTube sends you a $10,000 check for a month, you can. Book probably they probably book in these Airbnbs for if you book an Airbnb for the week, 
and knock out content every day to be honest if you knock out big content every day and just edit that content once that week is over and drop them bitches the whole month it can look like you live somewhere you only got to drop two or three videos a week you do like six videos you, you do like six seven videos at that at that one place the other videos you doing you riding around you only doing a little bit of scenes at the crib so i mean that's just to me so you could actually rent some property uh for a week do a whole bunch of content that it lasts you for at least three weeks to a month get your next youtube check i mean it's an investment on your check but it's going you know your money's going to bounce he's making hundreds of thousands of views on on his channel go check out bro's channel like i said but yeah it's, I guess sometimes you really gotta fake it till you make it, for real, for real. I don't know, but I ain't gonna do that shit. I'm gonna stay ten toes and grind my way up. You know what I'm saying? If I grind my way up, nigga, I'm trying to open my own business. I might not even see me in a year or two. I don't know what type shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's here nor there. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Go ham gang, we out.